Okay, working on the suspension on a uh, 2005 Passat GLS TDI. Bought a pack of these on uh, eBay, suspension arms. Uh, seemed to include everything, so I did fit the 2005. I'll leave a link. And honestly, the aluminum didn't seem too bad a quality. Um, I used a, a center punch, a spring load center punch. I punched my arm and the, the arms I got, and it sunk in about the same, so the aluminum seems fine. I'm a little worried if there's grease in these. This one, you can see some grease squeezing out, so there is grease in there. Um, that said, part of the reason why I'm doing this video is um, because this lower arm does not fit. You can see here that this um, taper is a little shorter in length, and it's also much wider. It, it can't even enter the female taper on the, on the hub on the car. So I'm gonna have to contact the seller and whack something out. Um, that said, the upper arm fit on my shock assembly, which I took out. You have to take out the upper, or the, the shock assembly to get the front upper arm in. Um, also, this lower so far fit, and actually I didn't even think about it, but it, it did, this lower rear, did set in, so I think it's it's going to be fine. I can use it, and that's the lower um, passenger side, right side control arm. Everything seemed fine about that. Getting this out was a huge pain. First, I thought I was going to have to remove the the whole sub frame suspension uh, assembly here, and and I did start to do that. But what I realized is this bolt uh, that holds the arm on can fit inside of the subframe. So I cut the old bolt off. The old bolt, bolt was inserted this way. So now I just came in this way. I'm not really sure why they did it that way. Um, I really can't see any benefit other than it prevents um, people from taking it off afterwards without removing the, the subassembly first. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is just the sheer amount of labor involved in doing this job. It's a lot more than working on a Ford or a Honda or something like that. Um, these German cars. This is honestly worse than a two BMWs that I hadn't worked on. Um, so to take this stuff off, you're gonna just have to do a whole lot of work. This is like a full day job if you're gonna do one side. This bolt here would not come out easily at all. I had to go back and forth on it. You gotta go real easy. Um, this is a California car too, so I can't imagine this car in another climate. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna use one of these ball joint style removers and you're gonna put it on here and you're gonna squeeze that bolt out. That bolt has to come out before these uh, ball joint assemblies can come out of here. And the reason why is because um, VW used this style, this is the old one, you can see it. There's a groove, it's all filled with crud, it's right at my pinky finger. There's a groove though that catches the bolt and I didn't know that and I was actually able to press this one out but it took an, a tremendous amount of effort and then I realized it and it screwed up the bolt even more. So anyway, long story short, you gotta remove the bolt, make sure you use plenty of lubricant, use that uh, ball joint uh, press, that fork thing, to, to keep pressure pushing the bolt out, use rotary force back and forth, use the lubricant, and I even had to use an air hammer on it as well some of the time or just pound on the end while the thing is trying to squeeze it out. And slowly but surely, you will get it out, but it just takes patience. It took me over an hour to get that bolt out. And, and I didn't even try to take take this one out. I can unscrew this and this thing can move move around, but to, to remove it all the way, you gotta get this bolt out because of that safety feature. But, but this joint feels pretty good. Um, yeah, you're gonna wanna check your, your control arms. Um, actually, I won't pause it. Uh, I'll try to come back and edit in the description the measurement at at the tip of this taper so that if you buy control arms you can check your new arms before you try to do this job. But yeah, this, this taper is way too big on this front lower to get it in there. Um, and you can see I've got this one sitting here but it just wouldn't, wouldn't go in and finally I looked at one in the bag. So I'm gonna have to remove that and let this vehicle sit until I can get a new one. Um, 
Oh yeah, while you're under here, I do get a super tiny kickback for this, but it's a good idea to use something like this, or there's another one which I think is even a little better, called, I think it's called 403 or 303. It's a marine uh, treatment. Basically, it's a rubber and plastic rejuvenator. So you want to spray the different rubber things to preserve the life, um, including any control arm bushings that you aren't replacing um, in your CV boots. But I highly recommend spraying that. And then um, even after this, I'm going to come back and I'm going to spread, I'm going to smear a toilet bowl wax seal over the rubber after it's been coated with this, with the other rejuvenator a few times. But I'm going to do that on these and that'll help keep keep stuff out and prevent oxidation it'll perform it'll uh have a thin layer of that stuff on if you do that every year or two i think it'll really help preserve this kind of stuff um another tip you are pretty much going to need one of these 18 millimeter to get these out the front and this rear side and you're going to need an another 18 on the other side or else in my case i was able to use a 19 i broke it loose with an 18 on one side and then I used the 19 which is kind of loose just to hold the other side as I unscrewed the bolt. I did put lubricant on all this stuff. In my case I used a uh, mix of ATF and and uh, mineral spirits or actually lacquer thinner. So I, I put it on all the bolts pretty liberally. The earlier you can do that the better. If you can even do it a day or two before that would be great. Just put it on anything you're going to take out on on any surface accessible for the for the any surface that's gonna turn or abrade on something else at the base of the bolt head and the base of the nut and and these gaps if you can see an exposed bolt that you're gonna remove put some of that lubricant on there it'll really help you out in the future uh, I think that's all I got for you um, good luck